Hi students, today we are going to see about the topic Institutional Framework. Myself, Osati, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, working at Akshaya College of Engineering and Technology. Institutional Framework National Level The overall coordination of the disaster management vest with the Ministry of Home Affairs. The Cabinet Committee on Security and the National Crisis Management Committee are the key committee involved in the top level decision making with the regarding to disaster management. The NDMA is the leading agency responsible for preparation, DM plans and execution at the national level. State government will be carrying out disaster management with the central government playing a supporting role. The central agencies will participate only on the request from the state government. Within each state, there is a separate institutional framework for disaster management at state level. This is the National Disaster Management Institutional Mechanism, a flowchart. Overall Coordination Ministry of Home Affairs, below that we can able to see Designated Nodal Ministers Top level decision making is done by CCS, NCMC Below that state level or union territories are there In this side, NDMA hold NIDM and NDRF Below that overall coordinate Ministry of Home Affairs We can able to see the category below NEC beloved CAPF Institutional level frameworks for disaster management In this we can able to see the flowchart which is having a government of India is the top Below that nodal minister, other ministries, NECs, armed force, CAPFs And then NDMA below that NDRF, NIDM CCS, NCMC. This and all the categories of previously we see in this slide National Disaster Management Institutional Mechanisms. Below that, State Government, Other Ministries, Nodal Ministry, SDMA, SEOC, SEC, and then SDRFs are there. Below the state, district level, if we see, DDMA are there in that we can able to see the police, home guard, fire service, other agencies as well as NGOs. Below that these are the categories of the communities we can able to see in the institutional frameworks of disaster management. National disaster management structure. Three tier institutional mechanisms are there in national level, state level, and district levels are there. Agencies for forecasting. When the disaster occurs, all meteorological hazards, the agencies which takes IDM. Tsunami. We can able to see Indian National Centers for Oceanic Information Service. For floods, Central Water Commissions are there. For earthquake, National Center for Seismology, IMD, MOEs, Landslides, Geological Survey of India, Avalanche, Snow and Avalanche Study Establishment, Disaster Management in India, Establishment of High Power Committee on Disaster Management in 1999. The High Power Committee gave its recommendation in October 2001, including a draft of the Disaster Management Act, a National Response Plan, move from disaster response to disaster preparedness, establishment of National Disaster Management Authority. Until 2001, responsibility with agriculture ministers are there. Transfer to Ministry of Home Affairs in June 2002. In 2001, Gujarat Earthquakes creates the Government of Gujarat for the first time in India, intact 
द गुजरात डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड थ्री करंट डेवलपमेंट इन डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट नेशनल डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड फाइव प्रोवाइड्स द लीगल बेसिस फॉर डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट नेशनल डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट अथॉरिटी कोऑर्डिनेट्स एक्टिविटीज ऑफ डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट नेशनल पॉलिसी ऑन डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन क्रिएट्स इंस्टीट्यूशनल मैकेनिजम्स नेशनल डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट प्लान इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन अलाइंड विथ सैड एंड फ्रेमवर्क लीगल मैंडेटेड द डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड नाइन द डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड नाइन वॉज एंटैक्टेड ऑन अक्टोबर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड टू थाउजेंड नाइन The Disaster Management Act 2009 consists arrangements of power prevention, risk and finance for disaster management. The policy has 13 chapter social security and social insurance as under. This will have the advantage that it will permit the state also to have their own legislation on disaster management. NDMA the act provides for establishment of NDMA pending enactment of the law national disaster management authority established by an executive order on 30 may 2009 headed by prime minister vice chairperson and members notified on 28 September 2009 NDMA presently working on development of policies guidelines and plans NDMA is assisted by national executive committee at the national level the ministry of home affairs is the nodal ministry for all matters concerning disaster management National Disaster Management Authority has been constituted for better coordination of disaster management at national level under the Disaster Management Act 2005. The Prime Minister of India is the chairperson of national authority. Members is nominated by the chairperson NDMA for tenure of 5 years at a time. NDMA is apex body for management of disasters in India. National Disaster Management Plan consisting of National Response Plan and National Mitigation Plan have been prepared by the Government of India various union ministries or departments have also prepared their own response plan which have been approved by NDMA NEOC2 is also functioned at NDMA as a standby to NEOC 1 at MHA a national emergency operation center has been started functioning in the ministry of home affairs with all sophisticated equipments with most modern technologies for disaster management function of NDMA lay down policies on disaster management approve the national plan lay down guidelines to be followed by state authority in drafting up state plans coordinate enforcement and implementation of policies and plan lay down broad policies and guidelines for nidm recommended guidelines for minimum stands of relief recommended relief in the payment of loans or for grant of fresh loans in case of disaster of severe magnitude crisis management group cmg the central relief commissioner in the ministry of home affairs is the secretary of the cmg consisting of senior officer called nodal officer from various concerned minister the cmg functions are to review every year 
contingency plans formulated by various ministries or departments or organizations in their respective sectors measures required for dealing with national disaster coordinate the activities of the central ministers and the state governments in relation to disaster preparedness and relief and to obtain information from the nodal officer on measurements re- relating to the above the cmg is the event of a natural disaster men frequently to review the relief operation and extend all possible assistance required by the affected state to overcome the situation effectively the resident commissioner of the affected state is also associated with such meeting crisis situations like hijack routes etc are being handled by the national crisis management committee under the cabinet secretary all secretaries of the various concerned ministers are its member cmg implements the decision of the cabinet committee on secretary and national disaster and ncmc contingency action plan the government of india has formulated a national contingency action plan under the ncmc and implemented the cmg for dealing with contingency as arising in the wake of natural disaster and it had been periodically updated it facilitates the launching of relief operations without delay here we can see in this picture indian climatical disaster risk map this is run under the disaster risks in india by ndma these are sub categorized in sdma and ddma state level measurements similar to the mechanism in the national level disaster management has been institutionalized at state level also in delhi number of initiatives have taken up to make disaster management institutionalized in the state of delhi the lieutenant governor is the chairman of the disaster management authority the chief minister is vice chairperson and the concerned ministers are members at state level officer of divisional commissioner is the nodal officer for management of various disaster divisional commissioner delhi department of revenue is the nodal authority to monitor and implement disaster management activities in the state divisional commissioner is responsible to identify the nominated various nodal departments in case of emergencies state disaster management authority sdma each state to constitute sdma headed by chief minister or lieutenant governor as the case may be district disaster management authority state to establish ddma for every district headed by district magistrates delhi disaster management authority it is an apex body headed by the lieutenant governor of delhi and the chief minister in charge person and the concerned departments are members the authority is governed under the chairmanship of lieutenant governor of delhi and under coordination of divisional commissioners the list of members is given under lieutenant governor of nct of delhi is the chair person ex officer chief minister government of NCT of Delhi vice chair person uh, ex co officer ministry in charge of revenue government of NCT of Delhi members of ex officio chief secretary government of NCT of Delhi chair persons of the state executive committee member ex officio cvg head q delhi area member ex officio principal secretary home government of nct of delhi members ex officio commissioner of police delhi member ex officio commissioner municipal cooperation of delhi member ex officio 
Joint Secretary Disaster Management Ministry of Home Affairs Government of India members ex officio Secretary Revenue cum Divisional Commissioner or the convener or the member District Disaster Management Authority as per the District Management Act 2005 each district has established a disaster management authority the district authority shall consist of chairperson and such number of authority members non exceeding 7 as may be prescribed by the state government and unless the rules otherwise provides the district magistrate as a case may be of the district who shall be chairperson ex officio the elected representative of the local authority who shall be the co-chairperson ex officio the chief executive officer of the district authority ex officio the superintendent of police ex officio the chief medical officer of the district ex officio not exceeding two other district level ex officers to be appointed by the state government short term plans short term plans to be provided immediately forward as a disaster based on past experience short term plan based on aim at restoring normalcy in short period amount of resource material required to be mobilized data on intensity and spreads of various disaster in area last 10 year documentation lessons to serve as inputs for further pla- planning of relief and rescue short term plan should based on declared vulnerability of the area to particular types of disaster forecast on for future disaster should be usefully translated into action plans short term plan incorporates suggestions and capabilities of all concerned departments state ngos cbos plans prepared by set up committees groups at appropriate level long term goals or long term plans plans should have ability to build a culture of disaster mitigation and be aimed to reduce vulnerability of the area long term plan incorporate policy directives on preparedness as well as post disaster constitution and rehabilitation phase foremost requirement is establishing its need in an area rehabilitation would depend considerably on the damage assessment report detailed study survey on the community long term plan should seek any objective of achieving overall development and satisfying basic need shelter economic and social of the community plans implemented successfully only through partnership with ngos and community participation idrn integrated data resource network is a database in the electronic form maintained by the ministry of home affairs the data enlist inventory of equipment and human resources relevant to disaster management organizations related with the work update the inventory of equipment skilled human resources and critical supplies for emergency response idea is to make available from the information on availability of equipment and human resources required to combat any emergency situation this database also helps the policy makers to assess the level of preparedness for specific vulnerability other institutional arrangements national calamity contingency fund nccf was created in 2001 by the government of india with a crops fund of rupees 500 crores with an objective of providing assistance to disaster affected states the fund was replenished with the national climate contingent duty on certain items such as tobacco products etc 
and was operated through a high level committee which has finance minister a chairman and the honor home minister home minister agriculture minister and deputy chairman planning commission as members since 2010 this fund has been merged with national disaster response fund which is also operated by a high level committee with similar composition armed forces are called upon to assist the civil administration only when the situation is beyond the coping capability in practical however the armed force forms an important part of the government responsible capacity and our immediate response in all serious disaster situations they have played a major role in emergency support functions like communication search and rescue operation medical facilities and transportation central paramilitary forces also play a key role at the time of immediate response to disaster besides contributing to the ndrf they are also required to develop adequate disaster management capabilities within their own force and respond to disaster which may occur in the area where they are posted state police and fire service are crucial immediate responder to disasters are required to improve their response capability civil defense act has been amended in 2009 to bring disaster management in the area of operation of civil defense agencies international agencies also play a role in disaster management undp also with ndma took up disaster risk reduction and urban risk reduction programs world bank is associated with national cyclone risk mitigation project being taken up in andhra pradesh and orissa red cross society also provides valuable support during relief operations now we learned all about the topics thanks for listening students thank you very much